Welcome to clickmyproject.com Our project title is Stock Management System In our project states that to manage the stocks in an organization The main aim of the stock management system for college is to improve the services of faculty It maintains the details about the timetables of each and every class and also updating for the same It also stores the details, personal information, academic information and exam levels of the student The objective of our project is to avoid such clashes that are arise when a staff get absent on a day and reallocate their staff in a timely manner. It's our data flow diagram. First we are going to view the table. At the time of viewing the table we can also be able to update what we are going to do or what we are want to update a subject or update a code in a particular day for a particular hour. And in job management we are going to check if anyone get absent is on a day. If yes, we are going to identify who is the person get absent on a day by make use of their ID and we are going to specify or we are going to identify by make use of ID how many hours that that the absent is going to be taken on a day and which are the hours that he has to be taken then by giving the ID we are going to view other free hours or who are them are free for the day at the except the absentees then we are going to reallocate the stock in a random manner if There's no shortage get happens. A timetable get run as per the schedule. Let me see the demo of our project. In our project, choose insert underscore subject dot csv at first. The run file. After it gets successfully built at, it will open in, in our browser. It's our insert underscore subject of JSP's home page. In this page, we are going to insert or we are going to do upload a sub new subject and with along with its subject code and stock name and the stock id who handled that subject the need for to do this to allocate the timetable dynamically and also to do stock profile and then academic schedule performance we have to maintain in subject code we have to specify subject code for a particular subject and the corresponding subject name then who is going to be handle the subject then the stops id then press the allocate button these informations are get uploaded in our database then we are going to change this timetable dynamically to change day mm, to change the monday uh, in hour to to vb.net then click new button then choose monday choose hour to then choose that we will not be placed there so click view button after clicking view that information could be updated in the table that we are see previously just click home page that information could be updated in new stuff registration button the new when are the new stuff that are entered in an organization they must register their own profile personal informations so these informations are could be maintained until the stock could be retired from the organizations the id must be specified that id must be same at the time of id given at the insert underscore subject dot jsp and their name and their age gender qualification then address then click to insert to insert these details into the database then come to home to view the stock details just click just insert the id of the stock and then view the whole information could be viewed at the time of after giving the id of a person
so if anyone wants to update the information about a stock then click update stock details then click then choose and just give id of that up ids of a given person to be updated just click view the information are displayed then what field that you are going to to update that that field must be entered and give the new informations just just click all the text field at a time because when you click all the text field that only the text field going to be activated and the contents that present inside the text field could be stored in the database then again click view then you have to view the updated stock informations just give the id of the stock then click view button the updated information could be updated in the database then view to us after informations we are going to allocate a our for a each an individual stock id by giving their id a12 and the stock name is and number of covers that we are going to take in in which of which hours then how many free hours that that he will be free in a day and which uh, what are the hours that he or she should be freed then what subject that you are going to be handled and its subject code and which day take in which day this hours is going to be allocated then click view button this information has get updated and then stored into the database then we are going to find absentees of a of a day for a day in this field we have to give absentees ids because these ids could not be present in a database so we have to find who are going to be absent so so we assume one to stop one to three is going to be absent for a day just click one to three is absent on monday then click view button it will display how many how many days or how many hours he could be taken in a day or how many hours he he has to be taken in for monday so one to four one to three is not a is not a valid id so we are going to give one to four on monday in one to four the a person who has the id as one to four he has to be taken on monday two hours in which of is going to be h1 and h2 so we have to find who are all the person that are free in the hour h1 and h2 because we have to replace or we have to reallocate the person to hour 1 and hour 2 on monday then we are going to view what who are the persons that are free in hour 1 and hour 2 on monday so in this we are going to give the absentees id and which fund for which day then submit these are the stocks that are have that have free hours in mondays so we can dynamically or we can randomly choose a person and reallocate for a absentees uh, absentees hour that have to be taken in on monday so we are going to allocate x for h1 and y for h2 so we are going to allocate an id could be absentees id for monday stop name x for h1 then y for h2 then allocate this information is going to be allocated to view the information just click choose allocation table the stuff a12 monday could be replaced x as for xh1 and y for h2 on this date thank you